Welcome you all to a wakekeeping night. This is a night before the proper burial ceremony day. Uh, in the burial of Madame Kashuke, where is in real somewhere in Africa. This is a detailed process of a female burial in Eastern Nigeria. Osina, to be precise, Eluama or Abagosu in Idiatonos local government area. Madame Kash is a native of Eba Osina, who is married in Abagosu Osina. So, in the family of Ezeru. Madame Kash happens to be my adopted mother, who died at the age of 84. And this is the last night ride. Yeah, this get together night is a night where a lot of things that is going to be used on the burial day is being prepared, starting from meat, killing of cow, preparation of some sauce against tomorrow. Um, which is the proper day for the burial ceremony. This get together is actually a process where which people gather together to stay with the family who lost their uh, loved one till the next day before the person will be buried. And this is the kitchen section where preparation is being made for the meal that they are going to use for entertainment. And we actually kill one big cow and they are actually trying to wash and preserve the meat in the proper way. And this night people do sleep by four, by three. A lot of things have been prepared against tomorrow. And it, it, this is a party night, people, um, different kind of music, and people are entertained with meat or suya night. Is, uh, so enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you. This is a last night respect to the lost so friends and family are going to gather and they are already here to do this till 3 30 4 5 p.m in the morning and they will all go home and prepare for the prayer ceremony proper <laughs>
section of four quarter is really getting to me like this is the most enjoyable part of this night i like what the all quarter is doing i like what the elderly man is doing the man talking or singing what he's doing is called email but one thing i don't like about this elderly man is that he's only mentioning uh okay one, okay one. I'm just beginning to feel for the first son of this man because nobody's mentioning his name um, because he, the Okenwa is more buoyant because he's an abroad made man and this other person is kind of managing in Nigeria. I'm gonna blame nobody anyway. It was in a so, but I'm very sure the first one of this man is not going to be happy because his name is not mentioned anywhere in this.